In his address, Premier Li Keqiang said it was inevitable that some industries would come under pressure as China restructured its economy. The sustained downward pressure on the economy is quite large. We are currently experiencing inevitable and unavoidable pain in the transformation and upgrading process, especially some chemical industries are experiencing difficulties in operation. We won't avoid these difficulties. China is aiming to shut down so-called zombie companies that overproduce, such as the coal and steel industries, while upgrading the country's manufacturing sector. And for the first time, the country's economic growth target has been set in a range between 6.5 and 7 percent instead of a specific point to avoid policymakers being influenced by economic fluctuations. Premier Li said it was time to pay more attention to the quality of the country's products. We absolutely want to use the devaluation to stimulate exports. The products it would stimulate are not high-quality products, are not products that would make companies more competitive or innovative. What we want to gradually release to the world are upgraded middle to high-end products. To get to where it wants to be, China is using market tools whilst encouraging entrepreneurship and innovation. And according to Chinese economist Li Daokui, the agenda will also stimulate employment. China's economy is gathering new momentum by encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship, which will create new job opportunities to offset the impact of job losses from industrial overcapacity reductions. And that's not only for China. Premier Li said its innovation-driven growth model should be applied to the whole of Asia, saying the continent can only have a bright future with a skilled labor force fused with innovative thinking. Really, CCTV.